This is the fourth and final week of Horror Mayhem, and it is Folk Horror Week. And I've already finished one of the first books. As I've said before, folk horror is not really my thing. It's not my favorite. Most of what I run into when I run into folk horror, it is very, to me, very pretentious and kind of meta. And people try to take folk tales and do do weird things with them, in my opinion. And this is Through the Woods by Emily Carroll. It's a graphic novel, so I finished it very, very quickly. The art is beautiful. I'm not going to lie. The art in, in this is gorgeous. Two of the five stories, though, I had some major issues with in the fact that I just didn't understand what was going on. And I don't think I am a dummy when it comes to short stories and how they're supposed to be, but at least two of these, and I'm just going to spoil the one, because it was the one that was supposed to, I think, go along with Little Red Riding Hood to, to some extent, where these three daughters are left in a cabin by their father who goes out hunting. He says, if I'm not back in three days, go to the neighbor's house. Well, they don't go to the neighbor's house in three days, even though he doesn't come back, so they know something's happened to him. And one night, this stranger in a hat shows up and the one daughter disappears then another night the st stranger in a hat shows up and the other daughter disappears the third daughter decides that she'd better go to the neighbor's house she goes to the neighbor's house and there's the stranger in the hat so i don't i don't get that i don't get why the father would be sending them to the house with the stranger in the hat i don't i'm not sure did the stranger in the hat take over the neighbor's house it it was very I understand people wanting to be open-ended in your own your own decision, but there's also a point in time when you kind of have to figure out how much you actually sort of reveal in being able to figure out what the story is. And that happened at least twice in five, in, in the five stories. And the other one was a little, I could figure out a little bit better, but the first one really did that and it was I think it was supposed to be some thing that you figured out and went through but in this instance it just didn't make a lot of sense and that and that is often to me the problem people people go with folk horror and do things like that with three of the five stories in here are pretty good and one of them I saw some people saying they couldn't figure out the ending that one actually I, I think I kind of figured out but two of them were just so open-ended and so artsy. I think people try to be artsy with folk horror a lot of times, and that ends up being pretentious and just, to me, unpleasant to read. So we'll see what happens with the next one, which I've heard some things about that it's pretentious too, so we'll... I, I don't know. Like I said, folk horror is my oh that hurts. Folk horror is folk horror is my least favorite of the horror genres. Uh, cosmic is probably my first, and that kind of feels like how this is just going to go in horror mayhem as as well. So I would not necessarily, if you like artsy stuff, go ahead and read this graphic novel it didn't take a lot of time if you are not so much into you just want a straight up horror story this this probably isn't it now i went to the ren fair yesterday which i always forget how hot it is and how much they charge for water so most of my money was going to keep hydrated so i didn't end up with heat stroke but i did find ye old bookseller i was a little old man in his little book tent and uh, got a couple things. One of them was Poison, A History by Jenny Davis. So I'm excited to read that because this is one of those books that has that type of really historic, a lot of, a lot of detail put into things with the pictures and illustrations and stuff. The other one was Vikings, History of the Unexpected. So this is seems like a short little, and this one this one is British actually. It didn't even have the um, the he was trying to find the list price on it. and It was in pounds. So this is a nice little book here. It seems very well researched from all their footnotes and everything about the Vikings. 
So, little little book haul at the Ren Fair, and unfortunately, not the best week when it came, to, or not the best start of a week when it comes to folk horror. If you're interested in good-looking graphic novels, this is one of them. But I feel like these are these are stories that rely more on giving a feeling than they do on actually coming to any kind of conclusion or making sense in a certain aspect. At least two of them just left me really frustrated and not really impressed with the whole thing. So hopefully the folk horror gets better. I hate to end on a week that is just not my favorite thing, but that, oh well. The Cosmic Horror made up for it because the Cosmic Horror Week, everything was, was great. But that is my little book haul and my impression of Through the Woods. So we'll see what happens with the next one, our last Horror Mayhem book of the month.